I mean, what's it been like this week? Every week, you know, there's going to be injured players, right? But no Julio, no AJ in that receivers group this week. What's practice been like? What's been the mood with this group with some guys maybe just stepping up, including yourself? Oh, yeah, practice, Um, you know, it's been normal. I mean, uh, you know, like Ryan said in the interview, it's the next man up mentality. Um, we've all been preparing for this opportunity. Um, you know, obviously I'm excited for the opportunity to go out there and be able to make plays. So, you know, it's, it's just another day at the office. How much have you heard maybe, how much AJ, how much would they encourage you guys if, if they can't go, how much do they maybe support you this week? Oh, they support us a lot. You know, um, those guys are great teammates. Um, you know, they give us the little details, you know, that they will utilize, you know, maybe in a certain route or, you know, in something that they see. So those guys are good guys, you know, to help us prepare for uh, for the Jets. Then next week, you those guys out this week then? Do you, do you move around even more then? Can you repeat yourself? Uh, sorry, with, with both those guys not on the field this week, does that mean, like, you move around even more than normal? Oh, whatever the coach asked me to do, I'm willing to do. I think that next man up mentality is just so prevalent throughout this building. So we hear from you guys, we hear from the coaches, we hear from executive, everybody. I mean, ultimately, you play this game to go out there and get on that field and, you know, make a name for yourself. Um, whether you're a practice squad guy, you're still preparing, you know, because one day your name might be called up, you know, for you to come on the 53-man roster and you have to be prepared for your opportunity, um, you know, so it doesn't pass you by. So that's really where the next man mentality comes up. I think uh, each guy in this locker room, you know, they want success for themselves and success for the team. So they're willing to do whatever, you know, to make that happen. Did you think, uh, uh, Cam, I know they switched kick returners last week. Did, did you think you might be getting some opportunities in that regard? Oh, you know, like I said, man, regardless, uh, you know, what goes on, I'm always prepared. Um, if coach calls my number, I'm out there and I'm ready to go. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we gonna, we going to leave it there. We see a lot, though. Um, not, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, don't want to give anything away, but we see some things that we like. Talented, I guess, as far yeah. as how they play and maybe their physical style of play. Yeah, they're they're definitely a physical group. Um, we know we know that they're going to bring it uh, with their number one uh, defensive group in the red zone right now. Uh, so we know we're going to have to buckle up to you know to be able to go out there and score some points. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to Sunday. Looking forward to playing against those guys. Um, just get ready. Corey, a good friend of yours, I guess, why he was here. I mean, we, you try to find guys in pregame, and, and have, you, have you kind of stayed in touch with him since he left? Oh, yeah, I definitely stay in touch with Corey. Uh, Corey was a great guy, great teammate. Um, my rookie year, you know, he, he kind of took me under his wing, showed me the ropes of what it's like, you know, being a guy in the NFL and being a receiver in the NFL. Um, so, you know, I wish him the best of luck, but obviously Titans win. <laughs> What's he said about playing in uh, New York City? I, I think I think he likes it a lot. Uh, he has a new opportunity, uh, a little bit more money, you know, go out there and, and have a little fun. But I, I think he enjoys it.